Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, I thrift way too much. And everything that I thrift isn't in the condition that I want to see it in, in my space or in a client's space. Therefore, some pieces require a little bit of TLC. So I got this amazing piece of art, but I knew the canvas inside of this gold frame was not the prissy way to go. You know what I mean? It wasn't, it, 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 it's old school. Don't get me wrong, I do love old school, but I love old school mixed with a little bit of modern as well, so. The frame, we're gonna keep old school, but we're gonna replace the canvas with something that's a little more up to date, a little more modern, and a little more out there. So if you guys wanna see this transformation, then be sure to keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my canvas. I have a roll of this stuff. I absolutely love it. I think I purchased it on eBay years ago, so I'm down to my last little bit. But I'm just going to put the frame on top and just roughly cut off the excess canvas. So taking this little sample of bare paint, it's in the color black. I used it in my last DIY as well. These little samples are great options for small projects. They're under $4 and they go a really long way. So I'm just gonna take this really inexpensive brush that I purchased from Walmart and just give this canvas a good coat of black paint. Next, I'm gonna take my assortment of paints. I told you guys I got these paints very inexpensively from Walmart. They were actually only 50 cents each. The gold one, it was like almost $2, but everything else was 50 cents. All I'm doing guys is literally squirting these random colors on this black canvas just anywhere and then taking the canvas and sporadically folding it in certain spots just to give like to give like that mirror image on certain parts of the canvas. I think that's a really cool effect. So all I'm doing is just adding color where I see the need for color to be added guys. And I wanted to add a lot more pink into this because the client's face is pink, white, black with touches of gold. When I picked up this brass frame, I'm like, okay, cool. It has a little bit of screws on the back. It's easy peasy, take these screws off, pop the canvas out, pop new canvas on, screws back in, boom, bam, boom, thank you, ma'am. No, that is not how this game is played today, okay? This canvas really tried to play me, but I had to think, girl, this is a super old piece. These screws have been there for years. This little screwdriver ain't gonna work. So then I went and got the wife's drill, added a, um, a screwdriver piece to that, still wouldn't come out. So I had to go get the wife. She recommended WD-40. Duh. Duh. WD-40, right? So we ran and got the WD-40, sprayed it on all of the little joints, went back in with the screwdriver, and it was 
so easy to take these screws out, guys. Like, this was like one of the easiest DIYs. Now that I'm able to get all of the screws out, I can finally pop out the canvas and this is where the hard work came in, okay? What I thought I was gonna do, once again, this canvas played me. I thought I was gonna take this little X-Acto knife, I purchased this from like Joann's, I've been had this. So I thought I was gonna take this little X-Acto knife and run down this canvas and just like boom, pop it off, right? Again. No, <laughs> I was waiting on you at the door, boo. This canvas was like, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. So I had to go and get a box cutter. I ran that down it and it easily slipped off. So no exacto knife for big projects like this. We need to break out the big ones, okay? All of the canvas removed instead of um, like balling it up, putting it in the trash. I know I'm a little OCD, so I had to fold it up. I feel like I can get a lot more in the trash if I fold it up instead of balling it up. Now our artwork, our creation is finally dry and it looks amazing. That, that, brass, that brass frame is going to pop around this black artwork, okay? I have an industrial size stapler. I got it from Stanley. Well, I got it from Home Depot. It's by the brand Stanley. And I have these big industrial staples. So I'm just gonna go in and staple my canvas over the wooden frame and pop it back into the brass frame. When I staple my canvases, I like to start in the middle on each side. So I'll start at the bottom, top, and then both sides and staple the middles first and then work my way to the corners. Guys, this is no way how to do the corners. Don't look at this video for a corner tutorial. <laughs> Cause I, I just kind of finesse it and finagle it so that it works for me. It still looks clean. I know I'm not doing it the proper way, but it still looks clean, so. Now that my canvas is all stapled down, I'm just gonna pop it back into my brass frame, screw those hinges back on, and voila. You have an amazing piece of artwork. But then as I'm looking at it, I'm like, girl, this looks really, really wrinkled. You can't get it to this lady like this. So then I thought, what can I do to get the wrinkles out? At first, I was gonna put it on the ironing board, but I'm like, no, I, I feel like that's a mess coming. So then I'm like, okay, well I have a steamer. What if I steam the back and see how it looks on the front? So I, as I started steaming, I started checking the front, checking the back, checking, and I'm like, this shit working, this shit working, this shit working. This shit working. It made the canvas look so professional and finished. And I absolutely love it. This is the finished piece. What do you guys think? I love it. Like, look at it compared to the original thrifted piece and how much more modern and updated and just like a store piece. Actually, it looks like something you would buy out of a store. If you guys enjoyed the video, 
be sure to leave me some comments down below. Be sure to turn on those notifications because I got more DIYs coming. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.